Hey foodie family, how's everybody doing today? I'm going to be making capirota. I know it's late, it's 10.15 right now in the evening. But I like my capirota cold in the next day anyway. So either way, I decided to make it tonight. I was craving it. So I'm going to make it early. Everybody usually makes it for Easter and stuff. But I have everything I need, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to flip, flip, flip you over and I'm gonna, it's going to be a long video because I'm going to let you know how long it takes from start to finish everything that I need to do. So let me flip you all around. Okay, and I'll start showing you everything that I have here ready. Let me put you on this stand. Oops, hopefully y'all stay here, tighten up and y'all don't fall on me. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, so I have this ready. So the cheese is in the refrigerator. I don't want it to get soft to me because it's harder to grate when it's soft. I'm going to put that aside. I have two uh, piloncillos. This is the brand I have. This is the one I just found. There's different kinds of piloncillos. And this is the cane sugar that I'm going to be using. If you don't have that, you could use brown sugar. But it doesn't taste the same. I got the nonstick so I can spray the pan that I'm going to be putting the capirotada in to make. And I got some uh, cinnamon sticks right here. The star anise. It smells really good. And I got some clavos right here. Some clavos. And the reason you see this right here is because I use a coffee filter to put these inside because I do not want to be fishing for them when... Uh, it's time to pull them out so I'm just gonna twist them in here and I throw this inside the um, the pot of water let me get a little twisty tie for it and I just use a twisty it's a plastic twisty tie not a paper one and that's what I'm gonna end up putting in there that way I just pull this out and the cinnamon sticks I also have a cup of raisins this is just what I'm gonna mix with the water I love, love, love raisins in the capirota, so I'm going to still add more raisins that are not going to be boiled with the water. This is for me to flavor the water. You don't have to do it this way, but this is the way I like making it. You can make it however you make it, but this is what I'm used to doing. Okay, so let me get this out of the way. I also have some oh, pan francés. I was trying to think. I went blank for a minute. Some French bread. So let me throw this in the pot. Give me a second here. And I have, I believe, oh, this is heavy. Six cups of um, water in here. So I'm going to throw that in there for now. And this is just so I can dig out the stuff. Let me dry up the pan for the bottom because it's going to start making all kinds of funny noises. Let me dry it up here. Okay. I'm going to put it over here in the back burner because I'm going to be using this space over here. And if y'all just joining in, I am making capirota. It's going to be a long video, guys, because I'm letting you know how long it takes to make capirota. I don't have any peanuts, but I do have some pecans, so you can uh, use pecans. I'm not going to use it on all the capirota. I'm only going to use it on half of it because I don't like pecans, peanuts, or none of that in the capirotada. I don't like bananas, coconut, none of that. That's just me. And like I said, I only put a cup in here. You don't have to do this, but this is what I like doing with um, my raisins. I put a lot of raisins. I put this cup of raisins here, and then I also put... Um, more raisins for in between the breading as I'm putting it in. So let me get started. You don't have to butter them. You could just throw them on there, put them in the oven. The butter will add a little bit more flavor um, to the capirota, but it's just an option. You don't have to do it, guys. Okay, so let me twist y'all over here so y'all can see what's going on over here. Okay, and just a quick, quick 
butter. You don't have to put a whole bunch of butter. You don't even have to put butter. Okay. And I decided to, I mean, I could have recorded this and let y'all see it, but y'all can come and go, go grab you something to drink. A glass of wine sounds really good right now for me. And I'm only gonna butter one side. I don't like bread to be too buttery. So I'm only gonna be doing one side. I have three trays here that I'm gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna use them all, but just a light butter. You don't have to do a whole bunch of butter. Some people don't even toast it. My mother is one of those people. She doesn't toast the bread. She just cuts it up in pieces. Sometimes she leaves it whole, uh, like a whole slice like this. And she will uh, just put them in layers. And if I'm not mistaken, if I'm not wrong, I've actually remember when I was little that she used to cook it on the stove top. I, that's what I remember. I could be wrong. Um, but there's so many ways of making capirotada that uh, so many versions out there. Like I said, people put coconut and um, pecans, fruits, all different kinds of fruits in it. And that's what people like, depending on the area you live, would depend on how you were raised making it. This is how I was raised. You know, just the basic ingredients, nothing extra, you know. Like I said, my mom used to put some peanuts on there. Okay, I'm going to put the first layer in to toast, and then I'll start the next one. Because it takes a few layers. Now, I could make, I could make um, a small portion, but I'm not. I'll make a lot. Kind of like lasagna, you gotta have layers. Okay. And sometimes I get lazy at this point. I'm like, you know what, forget it. I'm not gonna butter it no more. Well, let's see who's on with me right now. Hi, Bernie. You don't like bread pudding. I actually make one, a banana bread pudding. Oh my God, I love that banana bread pudding. Um. That's the, my favorite, um, other than this one. I'll have to make that for y'all one day, the banana bread pudding. Oh, it's so delicious. Basically the same concept as this, except... Banana. Give me a minute, guys. I'm they can hear the whole conversation. And Helena, you know, honestly, I don't like bread and butter. I can eat just bread toasted by itself, but not like this. I don't like, I don't like it at all. So let me see here. Get a small one to put in this little corner over here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put this in the oven. I still have a few more trays to make here. Okay, I'll move you back. Okay, that's my first one. Hi, Janie. Okay, let me get the next one going. I use whatever trays I have to toast it. And keep an eye on the bread because depending how high you have your oven will determine how fast they get toasted. And I'm only gonna do one side like I said of butter. Grab yourself something to drink guys because it's gonna be a long video. If you've ever made capirotada, you know how long it takes besides mixing it up it's the fastest part, the waiting part of 
it cooking in the oven is what takes a little bit longer, at least to me, because we put all the uh, syrup in it. Okay. Just a little bit of butter. Well, sometimes it gives a long ways. I got simmering over here, some raisins, cinnamon sticks, some uh, anise, the, the star anise, some clavo, which is the uh, cloves, the whole cloves, and I also put some raisins in there. You don't have to put the raisins in there. It's just something I like doing. Okay. See if I can squeeze in a little one over here. Hi, Iris. Welcome. Glad you're joining in. I'm making caputa. Y'all just coming in right now. Okay, let me scoot y'all back real quick. Let me open that oven. Oh, I love to smell uh, bread when it's toasting my favorite favorite smell okay so I have a few more that I'm gonna do here now let's see if I can get another tray let me see if I can get another tray besides the pizza one okay and this is the lid you could use it as a tray to this right here so I can cover it up refrigerate it no problem okay so let me move y'all back because I think I got y'all too far no y'all are good oh Pat so sorry about that hi Gina Just going back real quick, watching to make sure I don't miss anybody. If I don't see the comments right now, we'll definitely go back and read them later and answer then. But if you're just joining in right now, guys, I am making capirotada. One of my favorite favorites to have. I can eat capirotada all year round. Okay, and I don't know if I'm going to use all this bread. But it doesn't matter because I could still put garlic on it and use it for something else and eat it like that or just with the kids will like it just with butter with some toast in the morning, some jelly. That'll be great. Or just melt some cheese on it. Okay. Yeah, it's a little bit too much butter. Okay. Don't want to waste any of it. Use all the little ones too. And we start with the other bag. I've been meal prepping lately and that's why I haven't been on live because I just go all day with the meal prepping I, it's not one specific meal it's just different types of meals that I've been making so I decided right now yeah, this would be a good time for me to go live if y'all don't see it tonight y'all could see it tomorrow morning it's a good thing about replay Like I said, I don't even know how much bread. It depends on how much you want to make, honestly. So I always make a big old tray and end up giving a lot of it away. Let's see here. Get maybe like two more breads in here. My granddaughter came over. She wanted to eat some bread, but... 
had to stop her because I didn't know how much I was going to use because she loves just eating bread. My husband was making fun of her earlier because all she wants is bread and butter and she, or like she's eating the life of a prisoner, just bread and butter. I mean bread and uh, water. <laughs> she's funny, she's real picky. Okay, one last one here. This one might cook a little bit faster because it's on top. Heat rises. And I think I'm going to higher my heat a little bit on the oven. I'll give that a little mix. Let's see. Okay, so let me open the piloncillo because that piloncillo needs to go in there too. So give me a second. Now, a lot of people go as far as shaving this in the grater. Like, I don't have time for that. It'll melt eventually. Careful with that plastic. Turn y'all over there. Y'all can see what I'm doing. Hey, Elizabeth. Hi, Olga. Hi, Gina. No, I meal prep a lot. Um, it's just something I do. I I don't, I'm not worried about it as far as that. That's just something I do. I'm not trying to get ready for no virus or nothing. It's just habits I have already. Also, like, I'm always stuck, you know, have uh, big old bottles of sanitizer. I keep sanitizer in the vehicles. Um, so I keep sanitizer in my purse. I'm, that's just the way I am. I guess you could say I'm a little drummer phobic. So it's just something I, I do. It's a habit I have, so I, I don't, I'm not panicking about it. Okay, let me throw this in the trash, give me a minute. Okay, let's see here. Let me stretch this out. I'm going to put on the oven light so I can keep an eye on the bread because I don't want it to burn on me. So I'm trying to put up some stuff here, make some room because I don't want it to be all cluttered in this area. I have enough clutter from all the meal prepping already. Okay, so, let's see, and I just keep mixing it, so I can, um, get the, the heat on the, uh, what do you call it, the piloncillo, the sugar cane. Like I said, you can use brown sugar. Might just add a little bit more water. I do have six cups of water in there. So, excuse me. Because you do want a thick syrup, but you want to make sure you have enough. Okay, so I added one more cup. So that's seven cups total of water. Okay, move this out of the way. Let me check on this. I'm going to probably flip the bread over. Let me just check on it. what this looks like. My glasses are getting all steamed up. That's good enough. It doesn't have to get dark. It's toasty. Now this is just something I prefer doing. You don't have to do it. Like I said, my mom didn't do it. But I like, I, I don't like the bread to be too soggy. This way 
It still absorbs all the liquids, like everything, but it's not as soggy. That's just personal choice. Let's see. So I'm going to put it in just for about a minute or more. I just put in, but being that it's on top, it gets toasted right away. Because remember, heat rises, so it'll toast it quickly. And this is how you can make some croutons, too. Just sprinkle a little bit of garlic to this. Add yourself some garlic. I'm going to put some Italian seasoning and it'll be Italian croutons. There are all kinds of seasoning on this and put it on your salads. Some fresh croutons. I hate when the heat warps the dishes for a little bit after they've been a little cold out here. Okay, let me stick this back in. I set this one on top. It's really quick because it's rising. Yeah. Okay, so now the juice I've been kicking my booty. It's not even funny. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the oven because that's it. They're toasted. I'm just going to put them in to dry out for a little bit more and pull out the other ones. I'm gonna leave them in there just for a little bit more. Oh, I don't want to hit you. I worry about the ones on top. Okay. I'm gonna clear that off. I'll leave that there. That's that right there. So I'm gonna bring up over this way, guys, because I'm gonna be making, not making, grating. And another thing, I forgot. Here, I'm crossing right in front of y'all. I like adding, you don't have to. It's just me, because I love cinnamon flavor. I add a teaspoon of cinnamon powder. Yes, I know it has cinnamon sticks. But that's just me. That extra cinnamon. You don't have to. Now, once it's finished cooking, or not cooking, but melting the... Let me see the piloncillo. They're halfway there. Let me show you how dark it is and what the piloncillo looks like. Let me get you a little closer over there. Okay. So, see how it's breaking up right there? And those are the raisins, cinnamon sticks. Oh, I only have that one piloncillo, the other one that's left from the others this right here and that and then here is a coffee filter i use a plastic twist tie and i have uh, three clavos which is the uh whole clothes and the anise which is a uh, star anise is in there it's just easier for me not to be searching in there fishing for them if i just put it there like that when that finishes uh, cooking i will add a teaspoon of the vanilla Okay, so now we're going to be grating the cheese. Let me get the cheese out. And guys, get a block of cheese. Do not, do not get the bag. This cheese tastes much better. Let's see. Oh, let me get the bread out because it won't burn on me. Give me a second. I'm just going to stack them over here on the corner. Let me move y'all back. Let me get that toast out because it'll burn on me. Okay. And just to make room for me, I'm just going to stack them up. enough might not don't know okay over here okay 
let that sit there for a bit. Crossing in front of y'all guys over here, just checking. Make sure the piloncillo is done. That's it. That water is done. I'm going to give it a good mix. There's a little bit of piloncillo left. Let me flip y'all over that way. Not a little crooked here. There we go. So what I'm going to do is try to break this down a little bit so it can melt a little faster. And by the time I finish over here, grating should be I'm just breaking it up just a little the last of it okay I'm gonna leave it there for now just let it sit bring y'all back over here make sure it has some good lighting here okay guys make sure you buy the block of cheese do not buy the bag it does not melt as easy as this, and it doesn't taste as good as this. Oh, can't forget. Before I forget, guys, I'm going to add a teaspoon of vanilla. You don't have to add it to yours, but definitely gives it a good flavor. And just a teaspoon. Give it a good mix. And don't cook it. Don't put it at the beginning. All it's going to do is just evaporate because a good quality, and even the generics, um, vanilla will evaporate if they're made out of alcohol. So I want that flavor. Okay, so we want to do maybe about a cup or two cups, depending on you, how much cheese you like or don't like. Totally up to you. Like I said, this part doesn't take long. What takes long for me, it's in the oven. You know what? I turned it off and I need to leave it on because we're going to put it uh, to bake here in a little bit. Let me put it back. Oops. Clear. I'm going to put it at 400. Okay. And let it preheat. I know it's late, guys, but I work better when it's quiet. At the end of the day, I have the grandbabies, and they love to run around and be loud and stuff, and I want to make sure that y'all can hear me. You know, sometimes I do go on live during the day and stuff, but I babysit them sometimes. Oh, we need more cheese than that. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull out the raisins and all that out of there because I'm going to sprinkle them on here. So I'll put on a glove because I don't want to burn my hands. So I'm going to do that. Let's see. Okay, that's all I'm going to do for now. They eat me a little sliver here. Mm. I'm going to cover this up, put it back in the fridge. I might need it, I might not. I don't know. But I'm going to cover it up because... And put it back in because I don't want it to be soft. <clears throat> Let me get a bag for it. Hold on. Let me just bag it. Hi, Marina. How you doing, Miha? Okay. So, if y'all just joining in, I'm making capirotada, guys. The sniffling you hear is because I have bad allergies, guys. I've had them for a while, and especially every time the, uh, it's foggy outside in the mornings and stuff like that, I get them really, really bad. Okay, let me grab me a glove. And the only reason I'm putting on gloves, guys, is because if I have to grab my phone, I could just take off the glove and my hands will be won't be as sticky okay I'm gonna make some room over here because I'm gonna pull out 
everything from that little pot over there. So, get myself some room here. Okay. Now we're gonna throw away the cinnamon sticks. We don't need them. Drain out any juices from it. Now I'll put them here to cool off. Now remember the anise and everything that I told you that I had in here. It's right here. I don't have to be looking for it, fishing for it. I'm going to move you all over here. I'm over here draining it. Here, let me twist you a little bit. There you go. Y'all get to see everything. Okay, so this is the coffee filter I was telling you about. And I have a plastic twist tie on it. My oven's ready. Okay. Just wanted to show you what that looks like. Here, let me just tear it open. See, so I have the star anise right here. And the globules are way in here. Hold on, hold on. It's three little globules. There's the other one. See, this is the stuff I have to go fishing for. I'd rather not, so I put in a coffee filter. And that way I could just take them out and throw it away. Let me grab the other cinnamon stick. Like I said, these raisins, I put it here just so it could get flavor to that broth. You don't have to do it, but it's just something I like doing. And I also like putting more raisins because I love tons of raisins in my capirotada. A lot of people don't even like raisins, but I do. And if you're diabetic, this is not for you. If you're on a diet, definitely this is not for you either. Okay. So get your favorite raisins, whether it be those white raisins. I don't like those white raisins. That's just me. I say you can put as much or as little raisins as you want. I'm going to mix them up a little bit. So I can get a mix of everything. It's not just the harder raisins. I like them because they're a little plump. Okay, let me rinse my gloves real quick. I'm just rinsing the gloves so I can move y'all around. And I don't have to get y'all all sticky. Okay. There we go. Some more others for right there. Okay, so we're just going to start layering, whichever you can face it down, you can leave it up, it doesn't matter. We just want to, oh, it looks like a little butterfly there. Okay, you want to cover every corner possible, if you can. And then, let's see here. All in here. Just cover it up here. And if need be, just break a little bit, put them in between. I like having a bite of bread in every time. I don't want to have just clumps of things there. I think I covered it pretty good. Okay. So, okay. right, I'm probably end up going to get more raisins in this because to me this is not even enough raisins. Okay, make sure that all of them have it here. I'm breaking out of sweat, guys. My upper lip is feeling the heat from the oven here. Okay. Let's see. Okay. 
Oh, I just finished this up just in this. Okay. I guess I'll be stingy a little bit. And if not, I'll put, no, I'm going to put more raisins. You put as many raisins as you want, guys. It's what you like. Let's see here. I think I got what I want. Okay, put this over here. Let me bring this closer. Sprinkle a little cheese. I have no idea who came up with this idea. Who invented capirotada? But man, oh man, it's the best thing ever. Who would think to add some cheese to something like this? And I will be grating more cheese. That's how you put as much or as little as you want. Yeah, that's just the first grating. Baby, give me a scoop. One spoon from there. This one? Yeah. I'll watch up. Thank you. Okay. And then you come and just kind of drizzle some of this in here. Let's see here. I should have done this first just so I could see where the bread is white. It does not have any of the syrup. Give it a good mix here. Because I want to soak it up. I don't want to bite into something hard. Okay. I couldn't wait till Easter to eat it. Because normally that's when I'll make it. It's for the Easter. Now, I have made this before differently to where I actually added some eggs. And uh, kind of like a custard, I guess you want to say. I added uh, milk and eggs, mixed it. And added all these flavors. and I But I threw in the... Uh, Give me a second, guys. Thank you. I threw in uh, all the ingredients together except for the cheese. I waited to the last for that and um, mixed it. But I waited for the liquid. I mixed it um, instead of water. It was milk that I was boiling with all these ingredients. Okay, I think I got it. I really want to suck it up. So, the picture I posted saying that I was going to come live, that's the one I made with the egg. So basically, you mix all the ingredients. Instead of water, you do milk. And then let it cool off completely. The reason you let it cool off completely is because you're trying to uh, mix some eggs in it so you don't want them to scramble. So, once it's cooled off, you add the eggs, mix it real good, mix uh, all the ingredients you just saw me do right now, and then, so I'm going to go crisscross now, guys, because I want to make sure that we cover all the uh, little spots that we can that I didn't get the first time around. Okay. On the, like, the little gaps there, so hopefully I can cover all the gaps with this and I'm probably just gonna have two layers because that's what it looks like okay let's see here yeah it's gonna be two layers which is fine I mean, I could have made it in a smaller dish. I should have. But I didn't. This is the first dish I grabbed. Everything's out of the oven. I usually keep all my baking dishes in the oven. But I've been meal prepping, so I've been pulling stuff out, in and out. So I just left all the stuff out of the oven. Okay, so I'm going to cover all those little gaps in between. I don't want to miss 
tiny little thing here. Excuse me, guys. I'm going to take a drink real quick. Okay. Put some more here. And if I'm finding little spaces, I'm just breaking up the bread and putting it in there. that's left right there I'm just gonna use it for some toast and jelly okay so of course there wasn't enough of the raisin stuff left which is fine because I have more raisins to right there give me a second I will definitely grab all the raisins don't want to lose any of the syrup here okay move this out of the way Marina, yeah, it's been a while. I haven't uh, been on me, huh? I've been a little busy and stuff, so. Okay. Like I said, put as much or as little as you want of raisins. I just love raisins. And a good thing that y'all can go replay and fast forward tomorrow when, uh, or here when I finish. Whenever y'all want to re-see it again or save the video. If y'all want to get notifications when I am live, I believe right now, if you're in the video watching it, there might be like three little bars or there might be um, three little dots. Drop it down and it should say follow or get notification or something like that. You click on it and just say yes or click follow or something like that and it should give you notifications when I'm on I know some people have been telling me I don't get notifications and then others <clears throat> will ask me to um, message them when I'm gonna go live but I forget because I just last minute like oh I'm gonna go live you know and I'll grab everything and I forget to you know to message y'all yeah so I'm just gonna finish it up the raisins that I have here I know it seems like a lot of raisins for y'all, but I'm the one that's going to eat it, guys. Y'all put as much or as little as you want. I'm hoping to find more raisins inside the, uh... Oh, that's it. The end of the raisins. I'm not sure how many that was. Could have been one cup, two cups, three. Not sure. Okay, so I'm going to bring this over here closer to me. Just start sucking up all this bread as much as you can. Make sure it all gets it. And I'm going to grate some cheese right now in a little bit. But I wanted to do this first. And then I'm going to spray a, um, a foil with nonstick. And I'm going to cover it just in case it kind of goes down a little bit and it touches it. The cheese doesn't get stuck to it okay here I just love the way this smells okay guys I'm finding a little straggler of the raisins here and there And you can make this the day before Easter, guys. That way you don't have to be waiting to that day, rushing and cooking that day, everything. Just do it before Easter. And that way you'll have it all ready. Mm, can't wait to have this. And if you don't soak it through, you're just going to get a little bit of the white of the bread or the crunchiness of the bread. And all this, if it does, it's seeping through, it might go just to the bottom of the tray so it'll cook there. So that's why I put some nonstick on this on there. 
so that way it doesn't get stuck because the syrup will get thick. And then as it's soaking in, I can start seeing little white spots of where I've missed. And sometimes I finish all this syrup, sometimes I don't. Just depends how much of uh, bread I have here. I'm gonna tilt this pot. Give me a second here. I'm gonna turn this so I can see if I can get the raisins down here. I think there's still a few raisins. Oh yeah, quite a bit of raisins there. Okay, just gonna dump them there, and I can spread them out here in a little bit. I don't wanna leave any raisin behind okay the syrup as it sits it gets thicker and thicker and I actually like to get me some water some warm water and I'll pour this syrup in it and kind of make me like a cinnamon uh, tea out of it okay I think that was it for the syrup but let me see if you can see the difference. I'm not sure if you can see it there. How it drips a little thicker than usual. Okay, and put this aside. Continue this. Let's see here. I'm just now touching up wherever I missed. Okay, and just basically all the edges are the ones that I'm missing here. And if you hadn't toasted this, the bread would be a little bit soggier. And it'd be a little bit mushier, like collapsing more into it. And I don't like that, so I mean, you, you do you. If you like it, go for it. Okay, and I need, still need to put the pecans. And I'm only gonna put it on one little row. Like I said, I don't like pecans. Actually, let me ask my husband. If he wants pecans, I'll put some on just for him. Because nobody else will eat the pecans. It's just him. Okay. See, I'm almost done with the syrup. And it's poly. I'm going to take a little peek because a lot of it goes down. I just want to make sure that I get all of it. Okay, so. And you can put as little as much. Well, it's not too much in the bottom. Actually, the bottom needs a little bit more. Okay. Now let me get the cheese. Let me take these off now. Let me get a drink, guys. Okay, got some more of the cheese. And I'm just going to grate some here. Like I said, get a block of cheese, guys. It's a little bit more work, but get your food processor or the, um, just a regular hand grater like this. Because this melts a lot easier, tastes much better, and it's, you know, it's fresh compared to the ones in the bags. You don't know how long that's been there.
I'm not sure how much cheese. I'd say about a cup, cup and a half. Just depends how big your tray is and how much you want on there. Now, had the pan been smaller, this would have been like three or four layers of this. So it just depends on how thick you want your capirota to it to look. Okay, sprinkle a little bit here. If you don't like too much cheese, don't put it. Put a little bit. You can use Monterey Jack. Cool. What is it? Cotija cheese. Use your favorite cheese. This is what I like. This is what my mother taught us to use. So, the way I make it. Okay. done and then we put it in the oven and let that cook off evaporate some of the syrup and stuff to get it all just combine as one okay we're almost done with the cheese here that we're gonna add Make sure you get the little edges here. And do a little bit more. Cheese. What the hell? It's the cinnamon baby. Oh. Okay. Ow. I'm gonna do a little bit more. Yeah, well, that the help phone right there. Yes, baby. Oh grandma. What baby? Do people make your phone? <laughs> or your phone? Mm hmm Oh, Grandma, mm -hmm. you build that and the tea? Uh, no, I bought it like this. Papa went to the store for me and bought it, and Grandma's grading it. You got a tea one? Yes, baby. Uh, <laughs> oh, Grandma likes tea burger. Yeah, it's like cheeseburger? Yeah. Yeah. My little one. Oh, He's never seen a block of cheese. Cheese? It's cheese. Um, Grandma. Okay. I think I'm going to add just Why? a little bit more. Just just because. Okay. Just randomly. Okay. That's done. I'm going to get some oil here. Let me put up the cheese because I oh. hate for the cheese to be soft. Okay, so who's up with me tonight? Who's watching? Give me a quick hello. Where are y'all from? Because I'm in San Antonio. Maybe not everybody's in San Antonio. So I'd like to know where y'all are from. Okay. Hi, Iris. Estamos in San Antonio. Si, so hispana. On the Vivas to um, Iris. Okay, so let's see here. Now I know a lot of people be like, that's not authentic or something. Well, you know what? It might not be, but this is the way I know how to make it. There's so many versions of cooking uh, and baking and all that. So I'm just going to spray this so it doesn't stick to the cheese. And the reason I'm covering it up because I don't want the cheese to burn. Because it's just going to take a little while. So I want it to uh, melt but not burn on me. Okay. And just a little bit on this one. A lot comes out, not a little bit. Okay. I'm going to move you all back, guys, because I need to open the oven, so let me move you all back. Hi, it is in New Jersey. 
Okay, let's see here. Okay, so I have my oven at 400. I'm gonna put it in there. Let me give myself a timer going. Um, let's do 20. I don't ever time it. I just go along with it. Give me a second, guys. Let me go real quick. Step out for a minute. Give me a minute. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to clean up my mess, guys. I got a bunch of mess out here. I've been prepping a lot. It's not even funny how crazy my kitchen looks right now. Actually, it looks pretty good compared to the way it has been. So I'm just picking up some stuff here so I can tidy up a bit, put up some dishes. And then these breads, I'm going to save them, and I'm going to be... um putting some jelly on them leave it there I'm gonna do dishes I want water but you said I can't. okay grab your couple cup from over there what cup the right ones uh, okay. so I'm gonna bring all over guys while that is baking Y'all are stuck with me watching me do the few dishes I have. So I usually keep my other dishes in the sink. Let me see if I can bring y'all up without dropping y'all. Okay. So I have to get rid of, of the syrup. I don't want it. So let's see here. The container for the raisin, that's where I'm going to be. And it's just big cans. I mean, 24 things I have for, for, that are dirty. But I do have clean dishes in the sink on the other side, so they do get, tend to get in the way sometimes. Okay. I put up a few of the dishes so it doesn't splatter onto there. dishes I'm just gonna wash some of this here so I'll move you all around just for a little bit y'all can see me at a different angle okay water going here and they're not dirty it's just where I toasted the, the bread so it's not like crazy crazy dirty But I still have to use a little bit of soap. Waiting for the water to warm up a little bit. So y'all get to see me do the dishes. So we can wait for the cup of the Just giving it a quick wash. Like I said, it's just toast right on here. dishes before I came on, so I don't have too many dishes. And let me get a rag just because I'm going to dry these out. But I want to stack in here before they spill.
That's the one you just had ice in it. Not much. which I made today and what's so funny about it that my husband and I just kind of tasted it because we already had had a, a late lunch and we we're like okay we'll eat this for dinner but then my daughter gets here and she brought us some hot dogs so we never ate the chicken pot pie it's steak there so that was a little waste of me making it and stuff so it's there just sitting there let me grab the other stuff so I can clean up real quick Hey, I mean, go to the top and see if there's like three little dots or three little lines. Drop down the notification notification on it. It'll say follow or get notified or something. Click those or click follow. Maybe that's why. I'm not sure why it doesn't notify you. But that's one of the ways of um, getting notification. You know what, guys? I forgot to put on pecans in the uh, capirotada. Oh, well, I can always sprinkle some on top. But, um, that's another way of getting uh, notifications. Just get that little drop down. Okay. So, I don't, the syrup is thick. So, I don't like dropping anything like that down the sink. So, I'm just, since I have this little container, I'm just going to drop it in the... into the container and then I'll put it in the trash. Oh, one of the raisins. Mmm. Yummy. Can't wait. Now some people add brown sugar to uh, on top of the piloncillo and all that. Some people add regular sugar. I'm good the way it is. Just the piloncillo. Okay, so I like scrubbing my hands first and then I'll soak it up. Make sure I get everything. This little Dutch oven pot is super, super heavy. had this for years already make sure you take off all the syrup guys because the next time y'all cook it'll be stuck on there and start smoking you don't want that okay and we have 
have 10 more minutes on the capirotada. When you first get it, it's going to be all soggy and everything. You need to let it sit for a little while. But, uh, by tomorrow it'll be set completely because I'm just going to let it cool off. Okay. I love making my beans in this one right here because it, um, uh, it makes my beans real thick and juicy. I like the juice to be thick. I like that. Okay. Almost done with the dishes. Yeah, we're lucky now. You got to see your dishes, right? <laughs> and if y'all are just joining in, guys, I'm making capirotada. I use um, French bread. I use uh, anise which is the estrella, the star, uh, some clavos, which is going to be the cloves, the whole cloves. I use piloncillo, which is a sugar cane. And I use a total of seven cups. I boil seven cups of uh, water with everything, but I use maybe six cups out of it. And I also have four sticks of... Uh, cinnamon sticks and I added a teaspoon of uh, powder cinnamon you don't have to it's just an option and then I added after it turned off and uh, everything was melted together um, I added a teaspoon of um, vanilla extract and I believe that's it and of course the toast bread the french bread on Francis and the block of cheese, I did the first one where I had to grate the cheese myself. Um, and then you can also make it differently. Everybody makes it with different fruits and stuff like that. And I did mine with a couple of uh, raisins I put in there to boil with them. But I also put a whole bunch more raisins because I love raisins. And um, that's what I added to it. I think that was it. I was going to add pecans, but I spaced out and I forgot about it. And I didn't do it. Hi, mijo. I love you too, mijo. Good thing for replay, sis. It won't replay while I'm live, but it will definitely replay once I post it um, right after. Give it a few minutes and it will it'll do the replay. Okay. So let me bring the dishes down over here. Give me a second. Wipe this thing down. dry them out so I can have room because it's so cluttered just having them out. And then I'll rinse that so I can put them in the sink. And then I'll put them in the oven so in case I need to miss anything that I didn't dry out. all different kinds of pans so you can use them for everything. Okay. And they're not completely dry, but at least most of the water is off of it. When I put them in the oven, the oven's hot, it'll dry them out. So I don't have to worry about it. Probably end up using this right here because it's the lid to the capirotada tray that I just have right now. Okay. Quick rinse on these. Almost done. This is super 
heavy also. And all I need to do is wipe my counters, they're soapy right now over there. in the stove and that way I can pull out the capirota I've only got like three more minutes left I'm gonna put y'all back over here so y'all can see what comes out why did I forget the mustard onion and beans Miss Irene what am I missing sis let me know what am I missing Save that bread because I'll put some jelly on it. Okay. I can feel the little syrup here on the. I'll clean this stuff real good here in a little bit, but just to give it a touch up real quick because I'm going to bring out the um, capital thigh here in a little bit. And I got to get all this syrup off the counters. I can tell the. I need to clean my stove real good. Okay, I'm just gonna get my drink, guys. Stretch out my little towels. I can see my stove stain. <laughs> it's bothering me. Okay, let me get it out. And let me check. Make sure it absorbed all the liquids. Only got about a minute and a half maybe to go. Let's get y'all closer so y'all can see what it looks like. <laughs> Flour tortillas. I made some. Okay. When you said that, I was thinking, what? Potato salad? What, what am I missing? Careful because this is hot. Oh my goodness, that looks good. Look at that, guys. So, let me get a spatula because I'm going to lift it from the corner. Are y'all drooling yet, guys? here look at that cheese guys it's all melted nice and gooey mm -mm -mm. come get some you know I'm gonna have plenty okay so let me check before I turn off my oven 
sure yep it all absorbed I really don't want to cut into it guys because it's I like my capirotada to be cold but for y'all I'm gonna cut a little piece just a little corner here I'm going to put it on that plate where I have. Oh, let me turn off the oven. We're done. Oh, this is perfect. I hate to, to see the, um, uh, I need this up there. To see the, um, uh, the cheese all extra toasty. So let me show you the back, guys. This is the bottom side where it's toasty. And then, of course, y'all just saw the top. I love it. And all the cheese that's melted. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I wish I had more layers. I should have made it smaller, but I'm good that way. I'm let it go that way. Okay. So it's hot. Might cut a little piece. Like I said, I like mine cold. But I'll taste it like this. Me and my raisins. I gotta have a bite in every single bite I have. I gotta have raisins. I just love the raisins. Okay. See, I need to let it set. I think I can eat it. Okay, let me take you off the stand. I'm gonna let it cool off, but I'll move it away from back there because. Heat comes out from back here from the stove. Hey, boo. Our dog. Okay, sis. Thank you, Israel. <laughs> Here's your drooling. Okay. So it's late at night. I forgot what time it was when I sit, but I'm, I'll see how long the video took. About an hour, maybe? Hour and a half? About an hour for sure. But it's 1130 at night. And I'm having fresh capirotada. Let's see here. Don't want to burn. Mm. I think I'm going to have a bigger piece, guys. Let me tell you what I got. And that's because I like my capirotada. Um, cold. But... It's good. It still has crunch on the edges. And I like that. Mmm. It's good, guys. Not too sweet. That's like I don't like to add the extra sugars and stuff. Just put the piloncillo alone. Some people add less piloncillo to piloncillo. And other people just, you know, I've seen people do it with like uh, one and a half of those little cones of the sugar cane. Mmm. Oh, God. Mmm. Sis, you need to come pick some up. Come get some. That's real. Tell your mom to send your dad to come pick some up, too. Oh, I forgot you don't like that cheese. Mmm. Oh, God. Okay, I'm going to let you go, guys. I'm going to give you another piece. Oh, it's so good. I'm going to cover it up with the lid. I'm going to let it sit out for about an hour. Well, I'm going to let it sit out open for an hour. Cover it. And then I'll refrigerate it. Oh, really? Well, I do need to refrigerate it because of the cheese. Mmm. Mmm, how good. I'm going to cut me another piece. But... Sorry guys, I'm just enjoying this too much. It tastes so good. Ah, I just dirty my stuff again. Okay, I might go take a piece to my husband. I won't be greedy. 
These allergies are killing me. Hmm. I'm gonna be here sis tomorrow. I um not in the morning, but I'll be back by ten thirty maybe in the morning. But somebody will be here. And you can take some. You know the routine. Bring a Tupperware. Oh my god. I just love raisins. Okay guys, I'm gonna let you go. There's a really good. I'm over here teasing now. Keep on eating. Haven't stopped. Okay. That's it. Bye. Love y'all. You have a good night. See y'all tomorrow morning. Bye.